All right, so uh, just another introduction kind of video. Uh, and this one is actually uh, something a lot of people would not believe me if I told them because of the price I got this phone for. Um, we're talking about a Motorola One 5G UW, UW as in ultra wideband on the Verizon network. <clears throat> okay, so before we jump into anything, here are a few pictures of the phone from Motorola's website. It's a $560 phone released around October of 2020, so a few months old, around uh, seven to eight months maybe. Um, well, more than, about 10 months, so. Um, October of 2020, $560 phone, uh, 5G, 48 megapixel, a quad camera. It has the ring camera flash as well. Um, it has dual front cameras, um, as you can see in the photos, a 6.7 inch big screen. So it's a huge, uh, higher spec phone, upper mid range phone. You could even consider it as a lower high end, upper mid range or lower high end. So it's a definitely very good phone. How, do you, how much do you think a used one with a slight crack on the glass will be after t around 10 months? Just think about it for a minute. Um, at least $300, right? At least, because of the crack, without the crack, probably 350. I got this one for $33. If I told you that without showing you proof, you'd not believe this. Um, this thing initially didn't turn on, but the seller messaged me like a day after I bought it and he's like, it somewhat turns on, um, but it has a Google lock on it, uh, his old password, uh, and he does not know how to bypass that. And you saw that, I'm not kidding. It was just a mere $33 free shipping. Um, it is obviously locked onto Verizon. I don't care for that price. It could be uh, locked to whatever and I'll, uh, still buy it. So it has a Google lock and it has the crack as you can see, but it still functions. Um, and we are gonna attempt to bypass it. Um, I don't, well, it's running, I think it's, it's running Android 10. Uh, we shall see. Um, so I mean, for $33, there was no second guessing. I just bought it. I could have been broke as all hell and I would still buy it. I mean, look at this thing. It's a, it's a, I'd say it's a lower high-end phone. All that just for 33 bucks. Um, I don't know whether the seller didn't really care about it or he just wanted to get rid of it. Uh, the crack, actually, there is a uh, bit more on this side, but still the touchscreen does uh, work, as you can see there. So I'm going to try and bypass this thing and then we'll fool around with it. If I do manage to buy, well, I can bypass this thing. So uh, give me a minute. All right, so after about an hour of trying to unlock this thing, uh, I managed to FRP bypass it. Um, Android 11 is way harder to bypass than Android Android 10. Android 10 is pretty straightforward. You install a uh, short, uh, the uh, shortcut launcher APK and then you're in. But this thing, you gotta get into Google Chrome. You gotta use a settings APK to get into the settings. You gotta disable Google services and force stop it. Then you gotta, uh, uh, basically set up a swipe gesture uh, in accessibility settings. Then you got to restart the phone. Then while the thing is trying to find the account, Google Play, Google services have been disabled. So it kind of is confused there. Then you use the swipe uh, gesture to load the assistant, try and get the assistant to work. Then there's this quick switch pop-up. You got to be really quick with your fingers. The pop-up comes settings. Um, then <clears throat> there's a place to uh, restart Google services. And then the phone gets confused and forgets there's an account and then you can uh, go ahead and set it up. Took about an hour to figure out because uh, not everything is pretty straightforward on the internet, but as you can see, it is working. Uh, this thing's fingerprint scanner, I really like. Um, as you saw, it inst it uh, unlocked almost instantly. Let me do that again. I put a bunch of fingers on this scanner. There you go. I didn't even have to press the button. It just unlocks, so just a tap. So let me do that again. Just a tap. I don't even have to press it. We'll try this finger at a weird angle. I kind of, because I grip my phone like this. Let's uh, lock it first. There you go. So really good uh, 
fingerprint scanner. The face unlock also works uh, really good. I don't know which camera it uses, the wide or the, uh, since this thing has a dual camera, I don't know which it uses, whether it's the wide or the standard. I'm pretty sure it's the standard because the wide isn't that, uh, it's not as good as the standard because it's more wide angle. However, uh, as you can see, everything is unlocked and it's working fine. Everything works fine on this phone except the screen has a crack like that. I'm gonna put a tempered glass over it so uh, I can use it as normal, but everything else works fine. We can look at the camera setup here because it's a pretty interesting camera setup. Let me uh, switch cameras, there we go. So we have a bunch of cameras, we've got a wide angle, we got a macro with a ring flash, we got um, the standard 48 megapixel shooter. We have a bunch of uh, camera options. We have macro, we can switch to the macro camera and we can turn on the ring flash. It says torch on, so that's your ring flash. You go up close and you can take a good macro picture with that thing. Um, let's turn that off. Oop, how do I turn it off? Okay, so there's another bunch of options. Slow motion, time lapse, live filter, etc etc so this thing does have a bunch of camera options which is really really good um is that thing still on nope so yeah i'll be uh, doing a couple of videos on this phone in the future using this phone in 2021 i'm gonna make this actually my secondary phone i'm switching phones too much because i've been using the 2v teller uh, after that review for a few weeks now i also use a motorola uh, G stylus on the side, but these phones are identical. They run identical software, uh, but this thing is much better in many ways. Um, and except the fact that it doesn't have a stylus. Um, so I have that, I have a bunch of phones. I don't know which one to actually use uh, as my secondary. My, my first uh, phone will always be like, my main phone will always be my uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, but apart from that, um, I guess that's the end to this video. Uh, stay tuned for the future videos on this phone. I'll be doing a camera test as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching as usual. And don't forget to check out my social media down in the description below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.